Okay, now do you want to set more than five toggles in a row on your quick panel? Yes, that is possible on Samsung Galaxy phone. How about adding the date display on the status bar? Even that is possible. We can also add seconds indicator on the clock on the status bar. Whenever you pull down the quick panel or notification panel, you will see the seconds also on the clock. We can also move all the information like date and time from left to the right side of the status bar, or we can completely hide it as well. And if you want to see AM and PM information on the clock, you can also set it for the clock on the status bar. How about this? disabling some of the items on the status bar. Even for that, we have got toggles by disabling which you will disable the items or the icons on the status bar. You can keep the one you want and you can remove the one you don't want. All this is possible by using a good luck module called Quickstar on which we have just got a brand new update which adds a new feature as well. And that is what we are going to take a look at in this video. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in this particular wallpaper you're seeing here, I have left a link for that in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Every video will have a brand new wallpaper. You can check out all my previous videos videos to download some beautiful looking wallpapers to make your home screen look beautiful. Now let me open good luck. I will tap on more on the quick star and tap on go to store. Now here you see the latest version is 7.2.06.35 and in the change log it says support to change the format of the date displayed on the indicator clock on one device 6.1. So now we can change the date format which is displayed on the status bar using this quick star module. It also says change the way to connect theme park one UI 6.1 or higher. We do have quick panel customization right here on this application. We don't really have to go to theme park for that. We can do it right here on this particular module. Now this particular update might have arrived on your phone some time ago. Uh, for some reason it showed up uh, in this month for me, but uh, it says the update is from April 2024 and the update size is just about 11.15 MB. Now let's go back and let's open this particular module here. You see, we have got a few settings here and toggles. Right on top, we have got style your own quick panel by tapping on which you'll be able to customize your quick panel. I have made dedicated videos about customizing the quick panel, styling it and coloring it. Uh, if you have missed those videos, I will leave the link for those videos in the description. Now we will not be focusing on this particular feature here. Now the second option is visibility of indicator icons. When I tap on this, you see all the items uh, are available here and we have got a switch to enable or disable it. Now let's say I don't want to see the volume indicator on the status bar, I can just disable it. You see when I disable this toggle, it disappears here and when I enable it, you will see the volume indicator right here. Likewise, I can also uh, disable the uh, Wi-Fi indicator, you see, I have just disabled it, it uh, disappears and then when I enable it, it appears here. So we've got a list of uh, all the indicators that we have on the status bar. You can customize it, you can enable or disable the item that you want to show up on the status bar. Now I would like to have everything on the status bar so I've enabled it, but if you don't want something, you can disable it easily here. Now the most important option, the clock settings. Let me tap on this. You see, we have got three options, show date, show AM PM information, show seconds. Now when you enable all these, you will be able to see the date right here. You see it says uh, Sunday 19th May. And when I uh, pull down the quick panel or notification panel, you will be able to see the seconds as well because I have enabled seconds option for the clock. And you can also see the AM PM information right here adjacent to the clock. Now all these can be enabled using this module. Now the new update brings the uh, date format for the date which is showing up here on the status bar. Now let me tap on show date. Now when I tap on this, you see we have got uh, five different formats here. It says status bar clock displays date as like tablet, depending on the date format the notification or system icons may not be visible. So this uh, is going to take up space here depending on the option that you select uh, the notification icons will show up here depending on the space that is available. Now I have selected the first format which is taking up a lot of space here. Now if you want to uh, reduce the sp uh, space you can just select the uh, current date and month and if you want to see the current date and uh, month name then you can select this. Uh, then we have got the current date and day and just the day information that we have. Now all these options we have got with this all new update, earlier we only had an option to enable the date and it was showing up only in the first format here, the current day, date and the month, which was of course taking a lot of space here, but now we can select the one we want. Now let me go back. Now here we have got the option to select the position and visibility of the clock settings and date. Now it is set to left by default. If you want to completely hide it, you can hide it. You see there is no information at all on the left now. Uh, if you want to set it to the right, you can set it here, uh, but uh, there is a caveat here. You can see it says changing the position of the clock and increasing system icons can overlap each other. This simple problem has nothing to do with the original behavior of your 
your cell phone. So uh, what happens is when you set it on the right hand side, uh, there are chances that uh, the, uh, the items or the icons here uh, will overlap. So you can see when I set it to left, we have got the battery information here. Whereas when I set uh, the information, the uh, clock and date to the right, uh, the battery is uh, the battery bar is gone. Whereas the battery percentage is showing up here and it is actually scrolling here to show me the battery percentage. As you can see, when I uh, uh, open the notification panel and close the notification panel, it scrolls here. You see it's scrolling right here. This is how the battery percentage will show up uh, when we set the date and clock on the right hand side. Now let me just uh, keep it to the left. I think this is the best position for the clock and date. Now let me go back. The next option we have got is apply color palette to notification icons. Now what this means is, let's say you have applied color palette on your phone, the colors will get applied to the notification icons also. So when you swipe down the notification panel, you will see the notifications not with the default icon colors. Most icons will have the color palette. So uh, if you don't want that to happen, if you don't want the color palette uh, to get applied to the notification icons, then you can just enable this particular toggle in QuickStar. This will disable the color palette application on the notification icon. After this, we have got the best feature available here, change quick setting button grid. We can increase or decrease the size of the uh, button grid here. You see, I'll set it to uh, the minimum and this is how it's going to look. It's three by three. And if I set it to, let's say mid level, we have got uh, four by three. If you want more toggles on the quick panel, then you can increase it to maximum so that you can get a six by three grid, which is just fantastic. Let me know which is your favorite feature among all these options, drop a comment. Now at the bottom, we have got one more option, which is quick setting instant access. So if you have enabled the settings by going to the quick panel uh, setting options here, you see we have got this option, quick setting instant access. Uh, you must enable this to get uh, the option here on quick star, otherwise this will be disabled. Let me show you that. Let me just uh, disable this uh, quick instant access here. Now, if I go back to the uh, quick start, you see this option is disabled here. I can't access this. Now it says, please turn it on on quick settings editing screen. Now let's go to quick settings editing screen and uh, tap on quick setting instant access. I'll enable this. After we enable this feature, we can directly access the quick panel by swiping from the top right. You see the quick panel is opening up. And when you swipe from the left hand side top corner, you will see the notification panel instead of quick panel. So this is a quick access we get when you enable this feature. And uh, using quick star, we'll be able to set the status bar indicator swipe area divider. Here 80% is selected for notification and 20% is selected for quick settings, which means the swipe area covers almost 80% on the top left corner. You'll be able to swipe from anywhere here on the top left corner, almost uh, from this particular area. And the rest of the 20% will be for the quick access. Now what I'll do is I'll set it to uh, middle. Now while setting it, it will show you on the top the area for the notification swipe down and quick settings swipe down. I'll just keep it to the uh, center here. Now, whenever you swipe from this area on the right hand side, you will get quick settings. And on the left hand side, you will see the notification panel. Now, these are some advanced customizations we have got on the QuickStar module on GoodLock. If you're a Galaxy user, you must install this particular module as long as you have GoodLock access in your country. If you don't have it, install the APKs through FineLock or NiceLock. You will be able to use QuickStar module and you can customize your uh, quick panel. You can set your current date on the status bar. You can customize the status bar. Uh, you can enable or disable the items on the status bar. You can also set seconds on the status bar. So a lot of things you can do using this module. So go ahead, download it and install it on your phone and start using it. Uh, that's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know whether you are using this module on the phone or not. Drop a comment. Do not forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to download this wallpaper. And be sure to hit that like button as well if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.